the whole thing from the beginning of the sojourn in, in, in Egypt, the slavery, Moses and the Exodus, the conquest of the promised land is all there in one nice neat line, but it's way too early. I don't believe there was a single event that we can call the Exodus. This person can't have seen all this. He imagined it. I'm very much against chronological revisionism. There is nothing else like this in the whole of Egyptian history, really? nothing at all. When you put those cities side by side, the biblical account and the archaeology match extremely well. So far, there is no documented evidence about the Exodus. Exodus did not happen in the way that it is described in the text. How can we prove that? You look for a collapse in Egyptian civilization, and that's where you'll find Moses and the Exodus. If we can prove there even was an Exodus. I think everybody in the field is biased, one way or another. Whether it was true, it is true. And those are two different things. An E, an A, and an L. Israel. Israel. There's a high probability that we're looking here at Joshua's conquest. I hate to disappoint people, but we have no evidence for a single mass migration of people from one country coming into another country. There are no archaeological sources that could prove this took place. We have no evidence. If people are telling us that there was no Jericho at the time that Joshua conquered the Promised Land, and therefore Joshua is a piece of fiction, and therefore the conquest is a piece of fiction, why don't we ask the simple question, when was Jericho destroyed? In terms of reconstructing ancient history, a lot hinges on the answers. Do you think this is Joseph? Either it is Joseph, or it's somebody remarkably the same. We have tombs that are clearly those of foreigners, Semites. We can tell this by the pottery, by the kind of weapons. These are not Egyptian-type daggers. They have donkeys, in some cases, buried with them. This was not an Egyptian practice. This is real evidence for the time when the Israelites were in Egypt as slaves. We were slaves? Uh, why? I mean, if you're going to dream up a story, surely you'd come up with a better one than that. Look at your evidence and come to a conclusion based on the evidence. So you have, you have a connection between the Bible story and these tablets. We have a name that's identical. We have a tablet coming out of the ground with the name Jabin on it. And in the story of Joshua, Joshua killed King Jabin of Hatzor. Why is it that we've never heard of these finds? Because in the scheme that's used by scholars to date all these events, they're way too early. We may be wrong 10 years here, 10 years there, but there's no way, you know, to, to shift centuries. Because it would undo a lot of their books, wouldn't it? It certainly would, yes. 